Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video. Today we're actually going to play some. Um, we're going to be playing some Yasuo top lane, playing with Conqueror, with Triumph, with Alacrity, and Last Stand. Also taking the Taste of Blood with the Revenous Hunter. This is pretty much like the standard page that you always go for with Yasuo in the runes. Now for the full build, we're going to be going like Fenrir into Infinity Edge. Uh, we're going to be playing with the best build out there at the moment with like death stance and everything. It's going to be a pretty, pretty OP build for Yasuo. What is this? Is this the level? What am I watching? Is that like the level, the, the level two? Wait, what? Zach got red. Wait, Darius helped him with the red buff and Zach came in? Level two. That's a big cheese there. Wow. Okay. We might get camped a lot this game. But anyways, guys, uh, for the full build and everything, I'll leave it in the description. And with that being said, let's cover Yasuo today. Might lose this one. Yeah, I lost it. Okay. So Yasuo against Darius is actually a really bad matchup. Uh, you can actually win it by with Yasuo, but like a really good Darius player will know how to how to like abuse a, a Yasuo top. But anyways, guys, the way how this matchup works is pretty simple. Uh, you want to be freezing the wave around this side of the lane most of the time. Because Yasuo can all in. I mean, uh, Darius can all in at any time he wants. I think you got a max range uh, E out of there. <laughs> okay. Gotta be really careful of those max range E's. But mainly, we want to be keeping Darius in around, like around here, around our side of the lane. So like he remains in like a very vulnerable position, where he could potentially get ganked. And it also saves us from uh, being all in by the Darius player as well, so... Just gonna make sure that he's not gonna cheese inside of that bush. Okay, he's currently right there. He's taking the camp. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna push this out. I'm just gonna make him lose the, the creeps right now. Okay. A Mumu might come top lane soon. We will see. Darius is still uh, roaming down there. And this guy's actually taking the fight. Okay. I saw. I saw that a Mumu walking out to Darius to fight this guy. Obviously, he's, he's not gonna win this. So I don't know what he's trying to do there, but I'm just going to push his in. Nice. We got the cannon. And we've also brought this guy like half-life. I'm going to go back to base right now. Quickly get my uh, next items. So what I would recommend doing all the time with Yasuo... Um, is uh, getting the boots as quick as you can. The sooner you get the boots on Yasuo, the better it is because the boots is going to allow you to reposition yourself, uh, being able to chase, being able to run, uh, doing whatever you need to do. And it also gives attack speed, so it's mainly like... It's just that you, you need this. It's priority here. Now, after buying the boots, we're going to be going for Phantom Dancer, pretty much like the core standard item. That you go for with Yasuo. And like afterwards we will be taking Infinity Edge and all that stuff. I'm going to be freezing this out here. I will not forget who I am. Darius is actually playing with Ghost. So that means he's more aggressive. But also he doesn't have TP. So we can use that to our advantage as well. I just have to push really hard right now. I don't want this Darius to be freezing the lane here soon. Yeah, he's going to go for the potential land. If he only gets a single grab on us right now, it's going to be bad for us. It's going to be really bad, so... I don't think he has a ward down there yet. One thing that Darius could have done there uh, was actually pushing the lane into him. It would put me into a bad position, but, but now he's just pushing the lane in. Which is actually really good for us. Okay. 
So once again, we're going to be freezing uh, the lane as much around... Oh, I just missed that one. Around our side as possible. Fortunately, we lost that fighting, but it's fine. The timing was really bad. Okay. He's trying to... What is he trying to do? He's trying to chase me. It's not going to work. I know what he's trying to do. He's going to hit the range here. Okay. I'd say that's decent. I can use my potion right now. He's also got plenty of potions himself. He currently has three potions to use right now. So if we hit him like a couple of times with my Q, he'll just sustain it back. Okay, I'm going to place a control ward down. My jungler is currently nearby. This guy might be coming top lane right now. So this is like what I've been saving up the control ward for. Zack is here too right now. Can't find him. Maybe we can fight both of them right now. Wait, hold on. Oh, wow. We couldn't hit. I don't think he's... I think he's gonna get away. Yeah. <laughs> Two kills currently running off right now. That's not very good. I needed those skills to snowball. Okay. We're gonna push it entirely. and make a way back. Nice. He's actually gonna stay. Huh. Really. We could try to fight this guy. We could try. He is low health enough. He's about 60% health. And we have Ignite. We have to bait his Q. He's currently level 8 already, but we can we can um we can outplay him here. Oh wow, we, we're getting company here. Okay, whatever. He's getting away again. This Darius is getting away like like three times this game so far. He's actually pretty lucky this game. He's getting a lot of ganks here. Unfortunately. I can't miss out on the farm either, so I have to stay. This guy is super lucky so far. Okay, we're going to be making our way back to base right now. We're going to uh, finish the boots as this is something we need to reposition ourselves like uh, all the time. And we're also going to be buying the Phantom Dancer now. So I'll just buy the crit right now. Nice. Like getting the Phantom Dancer is... One of the most important things, you can also get the static shift, but uh, once again, like Phantom Dancer, it it gives you a little bit less attack speed, but overall the um, the passive you get on the Phantom Dancer is just way better. Especially when you play against champions like Darius. It's actually really good. Zach was topside, he's actually moving away right now. Okay, we're going to be outplaying this guy. Oh, this guy is here again. What are you guys doing? Stop ganking my lane, Zach. Stop doing it. <laughs> Stop doing it. Stop ganking my lane like over and over and giving this Darius uh, like everything he needs. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Anyways. The best way to um, beat Darius in the early game as Yasuo is simply to make him uh, bait into using his Q. If you're using the creeps to dash whenever he's queuing or whenever he's grabbing, uh, you can use that to start an entire fight. 
so long as his grab is down or so long as his Q is down, you can actually re-engage and disengage with the creeps as often as you want to. And by using that, you can like fight him without him getting like the five stacks. So that's like mainly what you wanna you know focus on in this matchup. He's gonna try to cancel. Uh, I'm just gonna get some. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it like this. This is perfect. Next time we're gonna be buying that. I'm just gonna get like one control ward. There we go. Unfortunately, like the gold, you need quite a bit of gold to buy the Phantom Dancer. We're actually missing out on like 200 gold, so we couldn't afford it. Could only upgrade the item a little bit, but it's fine. He can go in immediately. We got this guy. Okay, he's no. He doesn't have ghosts anymore, so it's still a good thing. His ghost has ran out, so he can't use that on me anymore. This guy is getting attention like so much. Katarina's here. Okay. Ah, uh, we can fight this guy. Just gonna pretend like I'm. Uh, I'm scared. Don't want to push it out though. But we shall see. Katarina's here. She's pretty, pretty close. But we can bump one R. Thank you very much. We're just like dragging him into the corner where we can actually get a safe, uh, safe Q down so we can actually land it for the ultimate. That's something that you can do quite a lot to always get like a guaranteed Q off. You simply chase them down until they get into the corner. And once they get in that corner, they have nowhere to go. They literally have nowhere to go. They, they can't go anywhere. They can only go one way, which is obvious enough. So you can always get like a guaranteed queue off if you just put them in the corner. Gotta be a little careful of Zack. Oh, he's actually bottom. Okay, that's good to know. Nice. Pushes all the way out or all the way in. And now we can make our way back to base and we can actually afford the Phantom Dancer now, which is really good. He's going to cancel my push. Yeah, he's going to cancel it. He didn't even finish the creep. He just straight out canceled it. He's going to try it. I think he's going to try. I think he might do it. I, I can't go back to base right now because I will be missing an entire wave if I do so. Yeah, he's noticed that my jungler's here so I could just freely push. Nice. Now I can make my way back to base. Hopefully he's not going to cancel my backport here. And I can buy a BF sword. So we have the Phantom Dancer right now. This is something that you always want to buy. Like, oh, like regardless of the matchup, you can pretty much buy this in every game. Um, Next item will obviously always be the Infinity Edge. That's pretty much like the core build of what Yasuo mainly always like. It's pretty much what you always buy. This guy's no problem for me. <laughs> Wait, what did you do? <laughs> did you just did you just grab to the other side <laughs> all right like even if he hit the grab there we would still get him so whatever happened there but it was actually funny to see the actually grabs the other way 
All right, we got the tower now. So we got four kills. We're pretty fed right now. And we're also getting the tower. Unfortunately, not the first bot tower anymore because it's already been taken, but yeah, we got this one. Nice. Now we can make our way back to base and we can afford the pickaxe. I might as well just sell my my ward right now and already built the next item which will be the death stance so you have the core phantom dancer with the infinity edge and eventually third item you want to get the death stance pretty much core i want to take the farming mid lane here and then probably rotate back top we'll see about it let's see if katarina's here If she shows up, I can fight her immediately, even like despite her having like f five kills. Nice. We could dive Katarina on our tower, but I'm just gonna take the safe path. I'm just gonna go bot lane and see if we can uh, roam these guys. Okay. Sec use is E. Doesn't have to jump anymore. Come on. Come here. I have more movement speed. He will not run anyway. Both of them are running away with like 50 HP. Okay, I was nearly going to get him, but my movement speed was not enough. <laughs> Both of them just running, unfortunately. Whatever. It's fine. I'm not going to chase him because he's actually got grab. He could grab me and do the Q. We'll take the next wave, and then we... Probably gonna go back to base to afford the infinity edge. I just need like 100 gold. I hope he gives it to me. Bro. Okay, I got the infinity edge. Nice. Good. We are super fed right now. We nearly have like a... We nearly have like a 2 level lead over the enemy team right now. So around this time in the game... I would recommend you guys to be split pushing um, as much as you can with Yasuo. So the landing phase is pretty much done. I can 1v1 anyone this game right now. Anyone. I could even 1v1 Darius, but it's still difficult. So we're just going to be like applying pressure on the bottom side for uh, for a while at least. See what happens. There's actually a fight happening right now, in mid lane, which is kind of interesting, like, we're not even there. But it, if, even if I were there, we would still not win. That was just bad. They just got caught there. They got caught in a very, very bad situation. There's no wards at all, which is actually really good. We could use that to catch uh, somebody here. There's actually three people uh, mid lane or four. Even if I go back to base right now, they're still going to get the tower regardless. So I'm just going to stay here. Still four people uh, mid lane. Zach is missing though, so he could be here. Using my ultimate to escape. Wait, my entire team is losing this? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, what? No way. No way. Are you for real? No way. Oh, 
Okay, this is gonna be a difficult one. My entire team like lost at 44 for the second time. That's usually that's something that never happens. Like that needs like some serious mistake needs to happen if that happens. Usually if um, in cases like this, uh, the enemy team will overextend because they are they have too much gold, but Okay, we gotta farm up real hard right now, so we can get super fat. Got my ultimate coming back in 25. Okay. Looks really good, actually. Darius is right on our back, so we have to be a little careful. Okay, I have to, I have to leave these guys alone. They're staying mid. Okay, just to correct him a bit. Like we're playing a room. We're not playing a room here. Okay, nice. I need. I need some time to uh, split. Nice. They're going back. Okay, that's really good. They might be going Baron. It's going to be kind of risky, but we shall see. We have absolutely zero vision, so I wouldn't be surprised if they do Baron right now. Yes, they're doing it for sure, without a doubt. I'm just here taking the camps just to get more experience. Uh, they're actually fighting right now. He actually went in? Huh, he, went, he went actually went in there. Okay, we can now make our way back. We can buy... The dead stands. They're not actually defending here. But I have to go back anyways. We currently have like a two level lead over them, even over Darius, like nearly two levels. That's really nice. Just gonna take the camp and then uh, actually see if we can maybe kill these guys here. Maybe the uh, Vane shows up. It would be really good if Darius actually shows up all in right now to farm it out. So we could make it a 5 against 4. Oh, this is is going in like all in all the time. It's not very good. Okay, we've got the death stance right now. All we have to do is start up a 5 against 5 and focus Vayne. If we focus her down, we should technically be able to win. Oh, that grab, wow. Hold up. Please don't fight. Don't fight this, don't fight this. Come on. Don't fight this. They're fighting this. Huh. That's not looking good. Okay, unfortunately, you've got games like this one, like, we've actually had a two level lead, if my team were to actually stall this just a little bit, like, just a minute, maybe two minutes, I could get my death stance, we could do like a clear five against five, we could win that team fight, and then use that to split push or eventually get objectives and make a very, very nice 1v9 carry. But unfortunately, like, I don't know what Amumu was doing, to be honest. Uh, 
bad games like this happen. People just having bad games, unfortunately. But anyways, this is how you play Yasuo. This is pretty much uh, the build. So thank you for watching today's video. This is how you play uh, Yasuo up against like a really hard matchup like Darius. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video. You can find the full runes, full build. Once again, you can find it all in the description. Also, don't forget to follow my stream if you guys want to see like challenge ELO gameplay. And don't forget to follow my Instagram if you got like any kind of questions or whatever. Anyways, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys up in the next video. Peace.